joined in a static versus cap factory game already in progress. It looks like their guns are strolling. Everybody's already broke out and they're beginning props. Static, not a new name, not a new team. You guys are looking as strong as ever. And Static makes a move to the pyramid. Static, a team out of Florida with some big time heavy hitters and usually roster a pretty solid team. Static, a really strong team on the scene for the last couple years. Based out of Florida, these guys are here to make a big impression. Cat Factory team usually plays some super solid paintball. These are some big time West Coasties against some East Coasties here. Both teams have factory backing. And Static dropped their first player from the pyramid. The pyramid's such an odd bunker. Not something you've seen in years past. This giant behemoth in the middle of the field. Always tough to figure out how to play it. Totally prevents downfield play straight down the middle of the field. You've got to make it out to those corners or defend yourself from that center 50. Static player looking for the cross shot. That's Eric Tatliak backing him up, watching the tape. Oh, and a cat player gets shot in the dome out of the middle of the field. Static, steadily working their bunkers. And Cat falls back to take a defensive prop. He rolls out to that corner bunker, trying to watch that zipper, I'm assuming. But really, the angles weren't there. You gotta, you gotta get in the zipper to fight with anybody else in the zipper. Otherwise, you're gonna leave yourself hanging. And Caps inside pyramid guys are doing too much work. Kind of just dozing around out there. You have to work the cross field shots from the pyramid. Well, they caught somebody. There goes another static player walking off the field. As soon as the cat factory guy makes it into the zipper. You can exchange this far into the game. Neither one of these teams are giving up anything, and both of them are going to stay aggressive. The communication lines are open, and the guns are ripping on both sides of the field. You know, that's another challenge that that big pyramid presents, communication. It's tough to yell across a bunker that big. Eric bumps into that zipper to back his player up. The cap guy's kind of in a wide open at the pyramid. Can't believe nobody's shooting across the field with him. Cap guys are representing NorCal big time. Out on our side of the fucking center 50, just wrap around what else? Back right here, stop. We just mow in our middle. So you watch the uh, static players, they doubled up that zipper. I was talking about how you don't have a great angle out of that short zoom too. So look like somebody got shot across field. Make there it. he goes, making the bump into the zipper, moving. Now this is where that player's got to come up behind him. He, to cover that lane, that other cap player's got to come behind him and play the zipper. Well, static knows he's there. He's definitely going to make a move to get him. There's no way those guys are going to step there uncontested. So you look at this. You look at the static player at the end of the zipper. He's keeping that player honest. Wow! There's no way that should have went down like that. I, that static player should have had him in the grill as soon as he popped out. They had the strategy down. They were playing the technique right. Uh, really good play on the part of the Cat Factory team. Right, just a quicker trigger. Well, now his job is to keep that zipper honest. Try to prevent any further movement. At the same time, though, he's got to look inside. He's got to look for that same cross shot we were talking about, into the center 50, possibly across the field. We'll see if he moves up. He's trying to set something up on the tape. He wants someone to swing in here behind him. He's taking pressure from the center and from the tape. 
Static Dorito guy's really working the cross field angle. He's putting a ton of paint down. Well, he's playing super, super tight. They must have a beat on him as well. Eric wants to go. Cap guy just posted out on the tape. He's not going to let the Static player get anything for free. Again, I'm really surprised that the other cat players aren't backing him up. They could get into that same bunker with him. One guy watches the tape, one guy shoots down the middle of the field. Both teams are in position to power down the zipper. Oh, and Static gets taken out. So now Cap has full control of the 50 zipper. Eric Catmack trying to talk with the ref. Doesn't look very convincing. He knows he's hit, knows he needs to get out the field. Just trying to buy a little bit of time. As any good paintball player would do, and Cap has moved up one more notch in the zipper after that elimination. Again, this is where those Cap factory players need to back him up in that zipper. He's got to be able to look inside, watch what's going on, but at the same time they need somebody to watch that tape and make sure nobody comes and does it. Statics pyramid guy worrying about the outside to make sure no one swings around the outside edge. Still got both stand-ups in the back. Cat player just kind of probing around in the middle of the pyramid, not really knowing where the bodies are. The cat player trying to shoot it to Cone on the far tape. 55 Dorito! That giant Dorito also prevents those big run-throughs in the middle of the field. Kind of slows down play if you're not able to move way up those tapes. Cap's Dorito guy playing a little tight. Cap definitely looking more confident at this point. They seem happy with their field position. I think they're going to start to move up the rest of the field. He moved up! He moved up! Mini pyramid! Oh, and he has to duck one. A little too close for comfort. Maybe even taking a bouncer off that fuzzy little hat of his. This guy's going left hand and right hand to the center of the field, probing big time on the pyramid. Static's kind of dropped into a lull, not making any big time moves towards the middle, not making any aggressive moves downfield. Well, caps up bodies, this is where they've got to start moving up the field. They've got to fill that Dorito. Oh, and Static makes a move down the left-hand tape. He wants the Dorito, but gets caught in midfield. Cap are definitely up on bodies now and need to take advantage of the players. He's running around to the inside. Oh, and he makes a move and shoots him in the back. Looks like the Static player got a few shots off on him. Didn't make him. You see the move on the right tape there? Moves up to the right, uh, right take 50. We're coming down on Static's back line. Joey's holding tight, and the Static guy makes a move oh, up through the middle, oh, but to no go. avail. No way, Looks like they're going to wipe. No way. Yank the Cap guy out, and it's a. Oh, and Cap take the Dorito. Oh, and the final Static player drops. Cap with the max and go on to win. Pull his arm out, bro.